here I come! <laughs>
Pardon me, Mr. President. I have more news on the invasion of the Information Bureau. I assume it's not good, judging from the tone of your voice. I've received a report that claims Sir Amizel is among the group of invaders. Oh, I hope he's there to show his backbone. But it's probably safer to assume the invaders are just using him. Their threatening letter and the progress they've made so far. They must have brought some excellent forces to help. This order has been delivered to all of our members. Are there any other prop? No. Execute the order. The measle will. Are you sure? I thought he was your precious son. You shouldn't treat him like he's just another rebel. What do you want now? I just had an interesting thought. There is a way to quickly wrangle total obedience out of Every demon in the Netherworld. You know, those rebels seem to be bothering you quite a bit. You're probably thinking too hard about this. We have a great relationship, right? Just think of this brilliant idea as a gift from me to you.
this have happened? It looks like we need to look over our security system again. Are you the chief? I'm bringing this bureau under our party's control. You should now obey me. Otherwise, we will use force. Chief, you recognize me, right? I'm the president's son, Death Amazel. I'm still alive! Can you retract the news of my death right away? Please! I'm sorry. What? See? Told you so. You don't have to act so surprised. We all knew this was gonna happen. Big Sis is right. We really should have taught him a lesson by inflicting trauma. We printed the article about your death under orders of the Corruptimate. We can't retract it, even if you wish us to. Not even if that person comes and asks? Can't believe this! Can you tell my father that I'm here? The president was made aware of this situation quite a while ago. Huh? What do you mean? I sent him the video footage of you cowardly running away and getting knocked out. Along with a note that read, If you want to keep this video of your pathetic son out of the public eye, stay out of my lord's way. That's blackmail! That's so nasty, you monster! It's a reasonable yet effective negotiation strategy. Bring the advantage to your side before the battle starts. It's a basic tactic. Then... Father knew I was alive! That's correct. He issued that article knowing that you were still alive. It's just like how a lizard discards its tail to evade danger. Your father is pretty good. So, father discarded me? Don't let this bring you down. Big Sis and Desco are in the same boat. Yeah, kids don't need their parents to grow up. So don't give up on yourself just yet. <laughs> It's it's not like I was in complete denial about this earlier. There's no way that Father wouldn't know about a news article that was issued by the Corruptor Mint. But, but I just didn't want to believe it. <laughs> to uphold the tenets of the Information Bureau, we can't allow someone who has been reported dead to run around. We have to protect our credibility at all costs. Sir Amizu, are you prepared? Prasco, you're not going to give up now, are you? Does your existence completely rely on your identity as the President's son, after all? But... Father discarded his only son. I guess he got tired of me. Since his death, they have yet to take a single human soul. Would you prefer to die? Die? Me? Right now? No! No, no way! Then fight! You died once, so fight back as if you were still dead! That sounded like you were making a righteous comment, but something's wrong. Fight? Against what? Your daddy, of course. We may have different goals, but we're all rebels from Hades who wish to take over the regime. Who else would we fight? You're telling me to fight the c c corrupt Ermund? My own father? The time has come for you to make a decision, Rascal. If you choose to die here, I won't stop you. If you choose to live, and prove you exist, and come with me. Uh, I... I... I...
going all out! Time to bust! I got this! Ready? 
Yeah. Information Bureau lost. I will never admit that fact. I control every bit of information. Therefore, if I don't acknowledge that I lost, then it means that I didn't lose. Is that your own personal form of denial? You're wrong! It's a fact! The information that I release becomes the reality of the netherworld! But you lost, so you're just in denial. That's not very final boss-like. You're wrong! As long as I don't admit it, the fact that I allegedly lost doesn't exist. Have it your way. I shall simply be forced to destroy you over and over again. What? Until you admit defeat, I will use every ounce of power I possess to destroy you hundreds of thousands of times! Hundreds? Thousands? Don't underestimate my persistence. I'll give you the real Hades treatment until your soul is broken! Over and over, forever! Oh, forever? Wow! How former tyrantly of you! I could really feel the weight of your threat! Yes! I learned a very valuable lesson! <laughs> tyrant? And that power? By any chance, are you Tyrant Valvatores? You got that right! That legendary tyrant is still alive! And works as a printing instructor! Uh, uh, and what, what would such a tyrant be up to now? What is your objective? I thought you'd never ask. Right here, see? On the second line on this article, there's a typo right here.
please allow me to explain on his behalf. What my esteemed Lord Valvatores is trying to communicate to your plebeian mind is... We are the rebels of Hades who have stepped forward to usurp the regime. We will send this rotten corruptment and its president crashing down, bring Hades to this world, and teach everyone a lesson. And I'm gonna be the new president. Desco is gonna be the final boss. And what about you, Rascal? I never once thought about who I really was. I always thought I deserved to be respected and obeyed just because I was the son of the president. But when they announced that I was dead, I lost that identity and realized something for the very first time. I can't do anything. I'm such a powerless demon. I failed all of my tasks. And as death, I've never even taken anyone's life. Yeah. That's right. I'm a complete failure. That is absolutely correct. Good job! You got yourself down pat! That's an impressive self-analysis. You deserve praise for that. What are you? Monsters? Let him finish what he has to say. Okay. Anyway, I'm fully aware of all that now. But that's why I want to earn the recognition I deserve with my own power. And Measle, the president's son, who used to ride his father's coattails, is indeed dead forever. From now on, I'm going to carve out a life of my own as Death and Measle. And that is my final answer. When I become a great demon who Pops would be proud of, that's when I'm gonna let the entire world know that I'm alive! Until that day comes, I don't care if everyone thinks I'm dead. So, you will become a full demon on your own, Madden's Rascal. Do you promise right here, right now? Promise, huh? I gotta keep any promises I make, right? Otherwise, I... That's right. Otherwise, you will learn the full weight of a promise through severe pain. Will you still make that promise? I can, and I will! I will become a great demon all on my own! Good. That's what I like to hear, Rascal. Now become an official member of our party and fight to usurp the regime. In time, you'll be able to challenge your father for superiority. Well, well, I don't really intend to have to be superior to my father. Tyrant Valvatoris gained another comrade and took another step towards completing his goal. Emizel's vows to part from his old life, only to return as a proud and noble demon, will later be known throughout history as the Vow of the Phoenix, and will have a significant influence on the netherworld education system. However, at this point in history, another surprising matter still awaits them. Oh, not only do the rebels count Tyrant Balvatorius among their race, but now Sir Amiesel too! I must report this to the President! Hold it right there! Before you do that, I need you to pay this invoice. Dude! Sixty-four hell that drained into the netherworld due to the Information Bureau neglecting its responsibilities. 53,181 hell for damages caused in Celestia by concealing, forging, and manipulating information. Plus all other illegally obtained products. I'm here to collect a grand total of 1,192,296 hell. A deed. You! That awkwardly placed deal. You're not a real thing, are you? 
you see an experienced, pretty instructor with that boss, reveal yourself! <laughs> you are correct. Not bad. There's an angel inside that Frenny? Could she be the angel of avarice? That's just the stupid nickname that some demons gave to me without my consent. You can call me... How about... Volcanus? What are you doing in the netherworld? I, I, I thought you died! Hortina! We were met with a surprising appearance on our path to usurping the regime. Who is she? You called her Artina. What do you mean you thought she was dead? I can't believe some people give sardines a bad rap because they smell bad. It's rather depressing. Sardines again? But they do smell bad. They're like super fishy. Who can stand that smell anyway? Just rinse them really well and you will taste just how great these fish are. So just rinse them off. Until you're content, then just trick yourself into eating them. So you have to be tricked into eating them? Next time, Episode 5, A Tyrant's Pain. Do Japanese sardines have bluebacks? Don't forget the fishy smell. The more fat on a fish, the more fishier it'll smell. What's with the long face? Tired? Ate too many sardines? Got sardine bones stuck in your teeth? I'm not tired. I could never eat too many sardines. And the bones have already been taken care of. I'm just thinking over some things. Can you be quiet for a while? Think thinking things over? You? Have you ever done anything that wasn't spontaneous? This isn't like you. Hey, you! Come over here! Hey, stop pulling me! You idiot! Don't you get it? He's thinking about that angel girl! The angel? You mean the angel of avarice? Oh, he still hasn't gotten over the fact that he let her go. Well, she did end up stealing all the money from the information bureau. <laughs> Man, her greediness <laughs> is the stuff of legend! You're such a child! That's not why he's so out of it. Love must have something to do with his attitude. I can totally sense it. Love? That's a final boss's arch enemy. Desco is getting excited! <laughs> Love between a demon and angel? <laughs> that hat must be rotten your brain. Especially when you're talking about THE Tyrant Valvatores. That's impossible! brain is as fresh as it can be. But then, how did he know that angel's name? They must have known each other in the past. So? Well, that doesn't mean they were in love. Desco is suspicious, especially since the tyrant let his prey run away so easily. Big Sis's theory is right. Desco stakes a reputation on it. Well, it's definitely weird, but... So... Is that what love is? It's love. L O V E. I see. You know what? I'm starting to think you two are right. Plus, Mr. Valvatore shouted that she was supposed to be dead. <gasps> that means they were separated by death. That was their dramatic reunion. Desco Kid! Desco Kid! Desco can't stand this as a final boss! It has struck her heart! Or 
in love between a demon and angel. <laughs> My dream is getting way more exciting. You're all delusional. Calm yourselves, you little bitches. Or you rip your tongues out and feed them to the sludges if you don't. Somehow that doesn't sound like a joke when it comes out of your mouth. Of course it doesn't. It wasn't meant as a joke. It would be very hard to eat without a tongue. Desco is scared. Hmph. Huh. You're nowhere close to being a final boss if you're really that scared. You're not one to talk. Your voice and your knees are shaking like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> that angel was just a common thief. Her presence poses no risk to our goals. Right, my lord? Hmm? Indeed. However, we can't ignore this matter either. If she's after the Netherworld's money... We should ignore her. It is your duty to ignore such futile matters in favor of keeping your focus on the big picture. I see. If you insist, then I agree. So, what shall be our next step? I already have something in mind. Which Sir Fenric ordered us to undertake, we suggest you move on to the mid level demon area, dude. If you can bring them under your control, you'll gain the support of all the independent voters of the mid and lower levels, dude. That includes over half the Netherworld supporters. And that's all I got, dude. With that being said, what do you think, my lord? Mid level demons? That may actually require a bit more effort this time. The Corruptorment has put a bounty on our heads after our invasions of the Plebeians and the Information Bureau. I expect the Corruptorment will intensify their efforts against us from now on. Bounty? Seriously? We're wanted now? Destiny is one step closer to becoming our final boss! <laughs> wanted? I bet they're still calling me the fake Amazel! Bounty, huh? Interesting. So, how much are we worth? Ten thousand hell, my lord. Ten thousand? That's all? Bastards! How could they? Make them regret putting such a low bounty on us? They're probably just broke. But as long as my lord is motivated, I'm fine with you keeping it that way. Indeed. Then let's go! To bring Hades to the Netherworld and teach every living creature a lesson. Okay, to become the Netherworld president. To become a magnificent final boss. To become a great demon and make Father proud. Their goals are completely different from one another. That doesn't matter. No matter our names, there's only one path we each can take. We are more united than ever. To fulfill each of our goals, and to usurp the regime, let us bring the bourgeoisie under our control! Episode 5, The Angel of Atlas. Central Netherworld, an area brimming with 
demons of approximately mid-boss power levels. However, this area has gone through quite a transformation since the days it was a training ground for aggressive demons, working their way up to becoming upper-class demons and boss characters. This is the mid-level demon area. Huh, is this an amusement park? It looks like fun. Desco wants to play with Big Sis. Let's go on that ride. Idiots, sure it looks like a ride, but it's actually a training machine. A training machine? How do you train with that? Well, I don't know either. Do you, Bowsy? There used to be this machine where you had to catch a giant hammer, a hydrochloric acid swimming pool, and other serious facilities. I'm assuming that along with the Corruptum, this training ground has become a joke of its former self. You, Lass, I couldn't help but notice your comment. Did you just call our lord? Oh, Fousey? Who cares? This is just a dream. I don't mind having a demon friend. Friend? Don't be a fool. Neither our lord nor I need any human friends. Oh yeah, right. I bet you just want a nickname, too. Okay then, I'll call you Fen Fen. Fen Fen? <laughs> I haven't seen anyone walk all over you like that in quite a while. I find it quite amusing. It wouldn't hurt to get to learn about human beings by befriending them. My lord! If not for Lord Val's warm words, your lives would be at stake right now. Look! Those are the wanted people! Whoa! I was so absorbed in all the nickname talk that I didn't even notice they found us! What a warm welcome. I'm starting to like being treated as a bounty. <laughs> of the mid-level area. These enemies look more malicious than ever. Tesco can't wait to kill them all! <sighs> Are these the rebels from Hades who tarnished the name of Suramiso? I knew it! But I won't let that get to me. I'll prove to them that they're looking at the real deal with my own power! You bastards! You've got a lot of nerve posing into this bird! We're all dangerous demons here! You shameless thieves! Thieves? Are you talking about one of our invasions of the Corruptorman's territory? How dare you play innocent in front of us! You're conspiring to take all of our valuables with the help of the Angel of Avarice! What did you say? I am not allied with any angel. I'll proudly admit all of the evil doings that I've done, but I won't admit to anything that I don't remember doing, good or bad. The Corruptorman's propaganda. Their influence remains strong, even without the Information Bureau. Anyway, conspiring with that angel? <laughs> what a heap of rubbish. Is this another one of my father's orders? Is he the one who's been behind this all along? He used to despise schemers. His motto was, fight violence with violence. Fair and square. Really? I've been trying to imagine what kind of a person he is by judging his dirty tactics. No, I know what kind of person he was. That's the main reason why I refuse to believe he was involved from the beginning. Because you had blind faith in your daddy? You <laughs> Have you picked which one of you wants to die first? The Corruptorman promised that if we defeat you, we get the bounty money. And we also get to do whatever we want with your money! <laughs> this is a once in an after lifetime opportunity. I'm taking all the prizes. You're right. This is rare indeed. 
In fact, it's so rare it had never happened. But you're still falling for it. <laughs> Hopeless idiots. However, as long as these idiots remain, it's an effective tactic. What shall we do, my lord? The Corruptorment is trying to pin all the blame on us. We already knew that the Corruptorment has always used such cheap tactics. This is no surprise to me. However, I can't help but feel a little hopeless when even these mid-level demons are foolishly falling for their propaganda. And please, be an example for them by fighting against the Corruptorment as the most exemplary demon of all. Splendid idea. I shall show them what a fighting Trini instructor can do! Um, my lord? How about doing it as a tyrant?
Even if their corruption was born of greed, I can't believe that's all they've got. And they were only fighting against a pretty instructor, not a tyrant. The state of the corruptorment is worse than I thought. We must take control of the entire netherworld soon, or demons will go extinct. As you stated, the degree to which these demons have weakened is a severe matter that we can't overlook. There must be a problem with the fear energy that's supporting the netherworld. We have no time to waste. Fear energy? Okay, whatever. So, Valsy, tell us something about that angel. I thought I warned you that I'd rip your tongue out if you didn't stop with that nonsense. Is that what you want? It's not nonsense. Half the reason we were dragged into this mess is that angel's fault. We have a right to know. You're obligated to explain it to us. of big sis, forcing her selfishness through any argument no matter what. Jessica was impressed. Are you certain of that? If you keep this up, I will inflict an unbelievable amount of pain on you, whether this is a dream or not. Uh, that's not a joke either, right? Big sis, you can do it! Jessica will protect you from behind! From behind? That's enough, Fenric. You're starting to lose it. Besides, there's also nothing I can say about that angel. I've never been acquainted with an angel. But you knew her name! She said her name is Volcanus. I don't know anyone by that name. She looks similar to someone I've met before. I simply mistook her for someone else. Someone you've met before? That's not the kind of feeling I was getting from you. So what happened to that person? <clears throat> she was killed in a foolish war between the humans. A war? Does that have anything to do with the reason why you got so offended when I declared war on you before? Why don't you stop with all your speculations? Our lord would never be affected by a human. How can you be so sure? Maybe that person became an angel after she died. Yeah, I've heard that super pure human souls can sometimes become angels. If by any chance she did become an angel, she would never engage in thefts. Never. She possessed the purest heart. Even I had a hard time. So, continuing where we left off, how did you meet the girl who looks like that angel? Must you keep? Come on, it's all right. It's no big deal. See, Fen Fen, we have your lord's permission. <laughs> how did we meet? Oh, that's right. It was back when I was still known as the Tyrant. 
Back then, I was still following my instincts, beating sense, namely fear, into the humans, and drank as much of their blood as I desired. And then she appeared before me. Love at first sight? Oh! So, this is how the, the love started? Desco will see right through this love as a final boss. Love at first sight? Me? I'm curious to learn what kinds of strange things your brains are stuffed with. Demons have an important duty, keeping order in the universe by planting fear into the humans' minds to tame them. Unaware of our noble duty, the humans made us out to be vulgar beings with their exaggerated depictions of demons. Even things like how vampires love to suck the blood of beautiful women and virgins, and other false rumors. Artina and I met during a vampire hunt that began thanks to one of those rumors. Tina wasn't afraid of she even sympathized with me. You need human blood to survive? I feel for you. If you'd like mine, go ahead. Not to flatter myself, but I'm pretty cute and I'm a virgin. My blood should taste mouthwateringly good. But promise me one thing. Please don't drink any other human's blood after this. Worried for your life? Who are you not to fear me? I'm just an average civilian. I'm also a nurse. I try to keep myself pure, so please, go ahead and take my blood. My pride will not allow me to indulge in the blood of a human who possesses no fear of demons. Fill my duties as a demon. I will bring you to the depths of fear before I take your blood. Uh-huh. Okay, it's a promise then. Please don't take anyone else's blood until you scare me somehow. A promise, you say? I am pleased. I will take up that promise. Scaring you shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better keep it. Just so you know, it's actually going to be quite tough to scare me. Plus, we're in the middle of a war. Just pray for me so I won't die before you get the chance to scare me. <laughs> Demons don't pray. However, it wouldn't be good for me if you die. Very well. Until I keep my promise, I'll watch over you so you won't die. Nevertheless, it won't take long. I give it three days until I get to take your blood. Is that the reason why you stopped drinking blood? A vampire's power comes from human blood. If he won't drink it, then of course... His power has gone. It is the biggest regret of my life. If only I were by his side, that wouldn't have happened. N no way! How could a legendary tyrant drop to this level just because of some promise that he made to a human female? Well, what happened, happened. He's a pretty instructor now. Anyway, I never would have expected you to be the type who would go head over heels for some lady.
time to bust some balls. Time to bu I got this. Bring it. Out. Here I come.
insist on keeping this up? Enough already! Sometimes it's important to hear what your subordinates have to say. It's fine. Ask me anything. My lord, are you actually enjoying this? <laughs> he refused to talk earlier, but he's willing to tell us about it now. We're just like real friends. Okay, I've got a question. So, is that promise really the reason why you stopped drinking human blood? Indeed. It must have been really important if it got a vampire to stop drinking human blood. Promises, contracts, they are equally noble and sublime to demons. Importance is not the point. However, I wasn't aware of the weight of a promise back then. After I told her I'd watch over her so she wouldn't die. Because I took the promise lightly, I felt the weight of it through severe pain three days later. And that's why you're so obsessed with keeping promises. But what are you going to do now that the person you made the promise to is dead? Are you never going to drink blood ever again? Her life or death doesn't matter. I will keep my promise. I made a vow to myself that day. I will never break a promise. He won't change his mind, no matter how many times I tell him to forget the promise. That's why he remains so powerless. The reason that woman died was because of a human war. Our Lord is not to blame for this. It's not because of that futile promise. Say no more, Fenwick. Since she died before I got to keep my promise, I must refrain from drinking human blood. Anyway, if that angel is our team, then this is good news for me. I finally have the opportunity to scare her and drink her blood. I really hope that's how he truly feels.
are you? Give up already, you feet made to... in seeing what Tyrant Valvatoris is going to do. Yeah! You rebels from Hades! You're here to save the angel? No, we're just here to bring this area under our control. I shouldn't ignore what you just said, but first things first, we need to kill this angel. Sure, go right ahead. I'm glad you're helping to get rid of her. I'm tired of being accused of working with that angel. Right, my lord? Right, but... Hey, come on! She might be that Artina girl! We can't do this to her! She's just a dirty thief. Persecuting her is the right thing to do. Hmm, that is true. She can't complain for being killed after all the things she's done around the netherworld. Oh, so no lovey-dovey event. Desco is disappointed. No, bad party! You guys shouldn't give up on her! Jeez, demons are so... My lord, this is only going to give the Corruptorment more reason to bring us down. Are you going to shoulder all of the crimes that angel has committed in the Netherworld? We can't afford for you to misunderstand how much this is going to affect our ability to accomplish our goal of usurping the regime. <sighs> you can't seriously be seeing that thief as some woman who's already dead. is telling me that she isn't the same woman, but I just can't stand here and watch that happen either.
an active Prinny instructor. Displaying such strength, even after losing most of his power, as expected of my lord. The Invincible, once he regains his power, must do whatever it takes to make that happen. Before that, I must eliminate all unnecessary factors. I hope you don't think you saved me or anything. No, that wasn't my intention. I was merely suppressing those who resist our invasion of this area. I'm glad. I don't intend on paying you back for your help, which I never asked for. Really an angel? I've never heard of such a greedy angel before. Hence her nickname, Avarice. She's the complete opposite of purity. Could she really be the wrong lady? But you did save me after all. Saying thanks is free, right? I guess I should thank you. Was unintentional. I don't need your unappreciative thanks. That aside, what do you think you're doing engaging in theft in the netherworld? You keep bringing up money. How bad is the economy in Celestia? Oh, please. What I'm doing is not theft. I'm carrying out collection in the name of justice. Collection? Sure, it's true that the offerings from the human world have decreased, along with peace and order. And we're struggling to gather enough funds to keep Celestia in working order. But that's all because the demons are slacking off, and humans have stopped being afraid of them. They've stopped believing in God. So I'm only here to collect the money that was supposed to be coming to Celestia in the first place. Hey, now! That kind of logic isn't going to work here. Whether it will or not, I don't really care. I did expect you all to understand in the first place. Oh, and one more thing. My operation isn't sanctioned by Celestia. I'm doing this all on my own. Who cares if you're doing this by yourself? What do you intend to use that kind of money for? Why should I tell you that? How much will you give me if I do? <laughs> time is money. I don't have any more time to waste. Whoa! What's this? Good day, everyone! Where'd that angel go? Did she get away? We must go after her! 
My lord, please, wait. Our goal is to take control of this area. I suggest we ignore that fear for now. She said she's not a thief. She claimed her actions are justified and that we demons are to blame. It was just her way of defending herself. We don't have time to make stops if we're to accomplish our goal, my lord. I know! Fine. She's probably headed to the largest vault in the area. I'm sure our paths will cross again. If that is the case, what do you intend to do when they do? Well, uh... Will you promise me one thing? If she becomes an obstacle, you will use force to eliminate her. like that angel is a real eyesore for Fenric. I mean, it's natural for demons to despise angels, but... That's not the only reason. It's called jealousy. Jealousy! That's the source of all negative energy in females. And just who is jealous of who, huh? Is there a problem, my lord? Are you putting the well-being of that angel over usurping the regime? That is absolute nonsense! Fine. If she ever gets in the way of us accomplishing our goal, I won't hesitate to take her down. Okay then, my lord. That is a promise. Indeed. It is a promise. Aw, oh, man. Fowzy totally fell for Fen Fen's scheme. Oh! What's gonna happen to his love? Don't look at me! Yeah. 
ましょう落ちましょう秘密の花園バンパイアアルカディア最後の生命を
落ちましょう秘密の花